Welcome to this exciting tutorial on dictionaries in Python. If you are new to Python programming, this video is for you. Dictionaries are an essential part of the language that you will use over and over again in your coding adventures. And for the more experienced Python programmers out there, this video will refresh your knowledge and give you some neat new tricks to use in your code. So what exactly is a dictionary? It's a data structure in Python that allows you to map one set of values to another set of values. In other words, you can use a dictionary to associate a key, a unique identifier with the value, the data associated with that key. This makes dictionaries extremely powerful and versatile and they are used in a wide variety of applications from web development to data analysis. But that's not all. Dictionaries are also super fun to use. Did you know that dictionaries allows for seamless use of alternate data types like strings and booleans? That means you can store and retrieve data quickly and efficiently without the need for time consuming type conversions. Before we dive deeper into dictionaries in Python, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them interesting, please subscribe to our channel because we bring the best videos for you daily. Also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we drop a new video. If you are one of the aspiring data scientists looking for online training and graduating from the best universities or a professional who elicits to switch careers with data science by learning from the experts then try giving a shot to simply learn Skeltech postgraduate program in data science in collaboration with IBM. The course link is mentioned in the description box below that will navigate to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. So whether you are just starting out with Python or you are an experienced programmer, this tutorial has something for everyone. Dictionaries are an essential part of the language and learning how to use them will make your programming life a whole lot easier. Let's get started. Dictionaries are another type of composite data type in Python that are also a collection of objects, much like tuples and lists. And like lists, they are also mutable, dynamic and can be nested. However, a key difference and property of dictionaries is that they are unordered. Items in dictionaries are paired using keys, unlike in lists and tuples where the objects are assigned numerical indexes. To define a dictionary, we use curly braces. Each key value pair in this dictionary in a dictionary is separated using commas, and the key and values themselves in a pair are separated using a colon. Let's look at an example. This is a dictionary where I have three key value pairs as you can see, they have been separated by colons and each pair themselves are separated by commas and these are enclosed in curly braces to define the whole dictionary. In this uh, example, these are the keys banana, apple and grape and their respective values are yellow, red and green. So this is very important that in this particular uh, data type we have what we call a key and that key is assigned a value. And we can have multiple such pairings and we have three such pairs in this particular example another example or the uh, or another type of way to define a dictionary is using the dict function this is how we use it as you can see i have inputted two value or two object tuples this is a tuple this is a tuple and this is a tuple and when i use it in a dict function uh, when i place it within a list what python will do is it will consider the first element of each tuple as a key and the second element of each tuple as its respective value. Now if I check what's in D, as you can see the key banana has a value yellow, the key apple has a value red, the key grape has a value green. So this is another way of defining dictionaries. An important note over here is that the, the objects that we use for keys have to be of an immutable data type. So we cannot use, for example, lists uh, as an example of keys, but we can use, say, integers or strings for our dictionary keys. Also, keys have to be unique when it comes to a dictionary. You cannot have two different keys with, uh, or should I say, the same key having two different values. You can have only one key and that one key will have a unique value assigned to it. Duplicate keys are not allowed. However, when we speak about values, we have no such restrictions. You can have a mutable or an immutable data type as a value in a dictionary and you can have duplicates as well. So if I created a dictionary with a key say banana and if I gave, if I associated with it a value green, I cannot create another key banana and associate 
a value yellow. Let's see what happens when I actually do this. If you actually see what has happened here is Python has considered the second case. So it's, it first looks at the first pair and goes, okay. So my dictionary has a key banana with a value green, but right after it, it sees another key banana with a value yellow. So it overwrites my first key banana with the second key and it overwrites the first value green with the second value. And we essentially get one key banana with the second value yellow. So obviously this is uh, Python does this to avoid duplicacies. However, if I created a dictionary with a key banana again, if I created, I gave it a value yellow or say green. And if I created another key and if I gave this also a value green, this is perfectly fine and this will not, nothing special will happen in this case because values do not have to follow such rules. Let's speak or let's see certain dictionary oper operations and functions now. So let's uh, bring back our original dictionary, which we had created earlier with the three pairs. All right. So what if I wanted to, we can use keys to uh, essentially do these operations and functions. Let's see what happens when we, so much like how we use sequence, how we use indexes in example of sequences, we use keys when it comes to dictionary. So let's see what happens when we use a key over here. So we, as we know, banana is a key in this dictionary. Let's see what happens when we do, when we give this command. It actually gives the value associated with that key which is yellow. What if we wanted to change a particular value associated to a particular key? I would give, I would do this. I would give the key and assign it uh, the value that I want to change it with. All right. Now, if I check my dictionary, you can see the key banana no more has yellow value, but the value gold. What if I wanted to add a new pair, you know, a new key with a new value completely. I would do it pretty much the same, same way as I did in the previous step. I would um, essentially write my new key, whatever I wanted. Say if I wanted a new key called watermelon, I would assign it a value red. And now if I check my dictionary, at the end of the dictionary, you will see that my uh, new key pair, key value pair has been added, watermelon red, as you can see over here. Now what if I wanted to remove, if I wanted to remove a key value pair from my dictionary, I can use the delete function, which is uh, called by using this, the DEL function. Now, how do I do it? Say if I want to remove the key value apple in red. So all I have to do is do DEL, D, and within square brackets, I have to only mention the key. I don't even need to mention the value, just the key. So you can probably draw parallels in how we use indexes when it comes to lists and tuples and even strings and how we use keys when it comes to dictionaries. They are quite similar. So if I did this, and if I, um, oops, I think red is actually not a key. As you can see, red is a value. My key is apple, actually. It's not red, it's apple, as you can see. Now, if I see my dictionary, the key, apple, and its value red has been removed. So these are some of the operations that we can do for dictionaries using keys. What if, uh, we wanted to use certain inbuilt functions that are associated with dictionaries. Well, some of the examples are as follows. There is a get function. When we use the get function, all we have to do is uh, enter a key inside the parenthesis and it will get the value associated with that key. So if I gave the key grape, let's see what value is associated with it. As you can see, it's green. Uh, there is also a function called items that returns the key and value pairs in our dictionary as a list of two object tuples where the first object is the uh, key and the second object is a tuple. So let's see what it does. As you can see, it gave me a uh, list. And in this list, the uh, objects inside the list are two object tuples where the first object is always the key and the second is the value. And it's the same for each of the tuples. So this is what items function does. Let's see what uh, the next, so the next function is keys. Let's see what the keys function does. As you can see, it returns a list of all the unique keys within our list. I mean, within our dictionary. Similarly, we can, there is a function for values as well. And as you can see, it returns all of the 
different values that are present in our dictionary in the form of a list. Also, it's important to note that if we have a particular value that has occurred multiple times in a dictionary, it will appear as many times it has occurred in the dictionary or appeared in the dictionary in our list over here when we use the value function. So if say a particular value, say I had another key where its value was green again. So I would have the value green appear in this list once more, essentially. Our next function is pop item. What this does is much like the pop function in lists, it gives us the last entered um, key value pair that is present in our uh, dictionary. So the last entered pair was watermelon, uh, key watermelon with the value red. And that's what has uh, popped out when we give this function. Another important function associated with dictionaries is the update function. And the update function is a very neat function that is used to merge two dictionaries together. So say if I had a dictionary, let's say I'm creating a dictionary using the dict function where I have say some key called kiwi. So as I had mentioned, I will use two object tuples in this case. And um, let's say I give this also a value green. All right. And another pair would be say mango. And let's give it a value yellow. All right. So this is another dictionary that we have created. As you can see over here, we have created a dictionary with a key called kiwi with value green and another key mango with a value yellow. And I already have a dictionary D with uh, these values. All right. Now, if I want to merge these two dictionaries, I can use the update function. What I do is say if I want to merge D with X or X with D, uh, only the ordering will change. And that doesn't really matter when it comes to dictionaries. So if I want to merge D with X, I use D update. And then inside it, I put my target dictionary. Now, when I check what's in D, I have the, the, the dictionary X and its key value pairs. Uh, merged inside my original dictionary D as you can see I have my original ones here and I have the merged ones over here So this was the update function With that we have reached the end of this dictionaries in Python tutorial If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and we'll have it answered for you as soon as possible Until next time. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep learning and get ahead Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.